You ready, Joe? I'm ready, Leo. Yeah, I heard you were born ready, Joe. That's good. You done the jeweler? Yeah. That's some beautiful thing. Why don't you give it to your wife? My wife? How am I going to give it to my wife? I ain't married. You got a girlfriend? Yeah, I got a girlfriend, yeah. So marry her. Hey, you for real? I'm asking you to middle a diamond for me here. Now, all I want for my end is 8,000. What I'm saying to you is you should give it to somebody that don't know any better, because that's a fugazi. All right? That's a fugazi? How do you know it's a fugazi? You looked at it for two seconds. What, it's a fake? But, yeah, I know what a fugazi is. Hey, pal, you want to see something? I'm going to show you something. There you go. That's something? That's a beautiful thing. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing. It's not my thing. What about this? What do you want me to say? Go ahead, try and sell it. You want to be a dumpski? Give it a shot. You call me a dumpski? You know who you're talking to, my friend? Hey, left. Come on, have a spit too. You want to go embarrass yourself with this thing? This embarrass thing. myself. Hey, my family, say? my children, my mother can hold her head up in any neighborhood in the city where she walks down the block. See? In all the five boroughs, I'm known. Forget about it. I'm known all over the f***ing world. Anybody ask. Anybody about Lefty. You pissing up the wrong f tree, my friend. I didn't mean no disrespect. It's a misunderstanding, right? You, go. you don't walk out on me. I walk out on you. You got a car? I got a car. Well, let's go get your car. Come on. Ah, a lot of juice coming out of this, show. First off, you did say in earlier episodes that you went to school to learn about diamonds, to learn about the, the Fugazis, which are fake, and the real stuff, because your life had to depend on that. If all of a sudden you say one thing is a Fugazi and it's real, or vice versa, you know, then your credibility goes in the shitter, right? That's correct, Leo. You know, in the, in the life of an undercover agent, uh, you have to know your profession. You have to know your background. Uh, whatever kind of thief you say you are, you should know that inside and out. Uh, because that's the first thing that, that'll get you found out or get you killed, one of the two. Yeah, I, I did go to uh, an intensive uh, school to learn about diamonds and precious gems. In that scene there, I give a lot of credit to, to, to the writer Paul Antanasio for the dialogue. I mean, he just put it together wonderfully. I knew enough in real life not to call Lefty a made guy at Dunsky. Uh, so... <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, it, it, he, he did show me a diamond. It was a fake because uh, I saw some scratches in it. The light wasn't right. I mean, I took a shot. I mean, you know, I was, I was not real, you know, like everything else. You, you got to go with your gut feeling, and I took a shot that it was. Oh, my God. So, But you did see a flaw in it. Uh, like oh, yeah, cuts, sure I did. Yeah, yeah and, and I, didn't like the, I didn't like the color. Uh-huh. So... I took a shot, and I, you know, I said, "Hey, it's it, it's a fugazi and, and, uh on the street. That's a fake." But again, Paul made that scene uh, really jump out at you, you know, with some of that dialogue. That, like I say, in real life, I knew that I couldn't say that to Ruggiero because he's yeah. a made guy. But it 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 set up the tension between me and him. It set up the uh, idea that that I was a you know legitimate uh, jewel thief. And that later on, you know, he was he would have trust in me. You did show him real diamonds, uh, you know, in the scene, right? You opened something up, or it was yeah, yeah. That? I had I had a packet of diamonds that uh, that I showed him that were real, and that's when he went on. You know, that you ask everybody, everybody knows Lefty uh, around the world. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> like like they know Lefty in uh, in Japan. You know, yeah. or in Siberia. <laughs> I tell you, he did not suffer from ego. I mean, no, he had it overabundance. Uh, there was something said in in the um, in the dialogue, which the first time I actually heard it that I focused on. He said, "No, I I'm the middle. You know, I'm the middle." He used that term, uh, going from no, he no, he he wanted me to middle a diamond. He wanted oh, me middle. to middle, okay, to off the diamond for him, yeah. Okay, so that's that's what what that was. Now he says at the you know end of this section of the scene, he says, "You got a car?" Yep. Now you were driving at that time a caddo. Yeah, I had a caddy. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
I think it was a uh, 77 or 78, you know, it was big as a boat. <laughs> yeah, you know, and driving around New York, it's a... Yeah, it's, you know, the big fins. But I did, after, uh, I did get rid of the car later on. Once I established myself with them, with Lefty, I did get rid of the car, which, uh, this is a, an aside, but it gave me more credibility as a street guy. And my excuse was, you know, I don't know why the hell I got this car in New York City. It's a pain in the ass to park. Uh, it's costing me, you know, I don't know what it was, two hundred and two hundred fifty dollars a month to park at at, at my uh, apartment building. What the hell do I need a car for? You know, I come down here, I come down to to to, to Little Italy. I jump in your car. You got a car, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And I did. And again. What it did, it made me a real person again. You yeah. follow what I'm saying? I'm, yep. I'm putting all the pegs in the right place on being a street guy and, you know, bitching about money, which, oh, they, which they all do. I mean, uh, he's 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 made a litany of it, Lefty. I mean, it's, it's unbelievable. But what's as interesting is he said, you got a car. You said yes at the beginning of this. And uh, then you took him out and there was a, a, a beat up Volvo. That don't make you look like a real winner, right? <laughs> <laughs> so the good thing was that that established it there. And then, as you said, you became the real guy. What am I, nuts? I'm paying all this money. And it, and that worked again for you. Oh, yeah, exactly. Exactly. You know, as you go along, you have to plant and do things that make you a legitimate, a legitimate person on the street. From Jam Street Media.